Hello my friends, Shane here from the Spirit of the Cosmos. Today's video is a New Moon Oracle card reading for the Scorpio New Moon. The energies of this New Moon are affecting us this week and I'm going to draw cards to see what we can learn. What are three things we can draw or learn or think about for this New Moon? Now the New Moon in Scorpio is a little tricky. Unlike other new moons, this one's totally about you focusing inward. What is it that you need to enhance or face or remove blockages of? What do you need to concentrate on energy-wise so that you can accelerate along your spiritual golden path? Now this new moon is also affected by the planet Uranus. Now not only does the planet Uranus have the worst name ever for a planet, but it's a very unpredictable planet. And when the, the planetary alignments are the way they are, with Uranus sending dominant energy for this new moon, the energies can be really unpredictable. So, with the Scorpio new moon, what is it on the inside that you need to work on or focus on? Now, this weekend and this week, you might feel a little out of balance or out of alignment. You might feel little like acting out or tired or irritable this is fine with this new moon you might feel a little overwhelmed but what is it that's bothering you what really on the inside is bothering you or holding you back from where you want to be and that's what I want to do with this Oracle card reading is to find out what are three things we can think about or work on or improve so that we can get through these new moon energies, remove old energies that no longer serve us to make room for that which is coming, the newness. A lot of people tell you on spiritual channels to get rid of the old to make room for the new, and it's super true because you have to make room for the new, or you'll be cluttered up with spiritual, think of it like you're in a spiritual house and you got so much stuff everywhere that you're making paths just to walk. That is bad. That is bad to do. Toss away the old energies, bring in the new, allow the room for the new energies to come in. And that's what we're gonna do with this Oracle card reading. So let's get started. Alrighty, I do a lot of Oracle card readings for people. And one of the most requested decks lately is the Native Heart Healing Oracle Deck by Melanie Ware. There's the box, beautiful mandalas on each card. Forgive the background noise, there's construction going on. And some guy is really just backing a truck back and forth for no reason. I don't really know what he's doing, but you can tell he's paid hourly. So I'm gonna shuffle the cards. And let's see, am I in the mood for a random card pick? Or three off the top. I do like three off the top, it generally works. Give it a good shuffle, feeling it three off the top so let's see what we got my friends oh yay awesome beautiful card we have the moonflower card you'll see why I'm so excited about that one in a minute we have the sacral chakra card Ooh. so we have a chakra card that requires specific attention nice we have self discovery all right, my friends, let's get started with these three cards and see what our message is for this new moon in Scorpio. All right, my friends, let's get going. Sorry again about all the background noise. There's construction going on. We have the moonflower card. Notice the owl and the moon and the moonflower. The owl is a representation of being able to see in the dark. Those things that are holding you back within, those negative feelings or emotions, any type of fear that might be holding you back is a darkness. It keeps you from shining your light out into the world. But the owl is a reminder to see in that darkness, to focus light and love and intention on what is bothering you from within. Because if things are bothering you from within, they pull you as you try to walk along your golden spiritual path and that can be very just it just sucks so with that we also have the moonflower in the card 
a beautiful flower that blooms in the dark and closes its petals throughout the day. These are common flowers. You can see them at night. A lot of people grow them. They're beautiful flowers. They are common in the area I live in. But this flower shines in the darkness. It opens its petals up and opens its love to the darkness around it. Which you need to do with whatever's bothering you inside. What other fears or negative feelings you may have. It's time to shine love and light onto them. And with that, the owl is a wise creature. It sees things. It hears things in environments that others would not, such as the darkness. So this card excites me because whenever you have an owl sign, it means to open your eyes because something's coming. Some maybe new awakening or new discovery or new talent. Something is coming to light from the darkness as you clear away the old energies. You're going to have something new and cool come your way. That's why this card excites me and why it's one of my favorites in the entire deck. That's a very good sign for all of us who resonate with this video that something new is on its way because we are doing the inner work and releasing and removing blockages. Our next card is the Sacral Chakra card or the Swadhisthana, ancient Sanskrit for from where your being is established. Since this is a chakra card that I've drawn from the deck, it's telling me that some of us, or all of us, or whoever of us who is resonating with this video might have an energy center blockage focused around this chakra. This chakra is where you draw your individuality from, your personality, who you really are, your authentic self. So if you have a blockage in this area, it is a good time to focus on that remove the blockage so that your inner authentic self can shine out to the world. One of the biggest fears that many of us have when we become spiritually awakened is, should I really shine this out to the world? People might think certain things. I might get a little scared of really resonating out what I am, who I am inside. And to overcome that, you have to just be your authentic self. People will love you far more if you are true to yourself being authentic is one of the greatest ways to unblock this chakra shine out to the world who you are be who you truly are inside you'll feel much better another way to unblock this chakra is through taking care of any sexual energy issues you might have i am not going there whatever comes to your imagination do it whatever works for you Sexual energies are very potent energies and if they accumulate in the body, if they're not released right, or if stress or anything negative is actually keeping you from releasing sexual energies, it can be a big problem. So fear and sexual energy blockages really correspond to the sacral chakra. So take care of your needs, not going there, and also be authentic. Overcome fear. Punch it in the face by being who you truly are. That's the message I'm getting from that card for this new moon Scorpio. New moon in Scorpio rather. What do we need to learn or think about or look inside to fix for us to really prosper and overcome and make ready for the new energies. Our third card for this new moon and scorpio oracle card reading is the self discovery card this is a powerful card not only is it beautiful with the artwork but it's a reminder that not only do we need to look inside and shine light to the darkness within so we can clear out the old to bring in new energies but with self discovery this card is telling me that you need to reevaluate really look inside and see what it is that you want and desire in life because your tastes needs and wants have changed since you've gone along your spiritual golden path during your awakening what is it inside you something new that needs to be discovered that needs to shine out to the world be your, be this helps you be your authentic self by constantly reaching in and discovering new things about yourself that you can share to the world very straightforward card 
it's a great companion with the other two once again we have the moonflower card which I love the sacral chakra and self-discovery all tied into this reading of the new moon in Scorpio what do we need to look inside to clear out for the new and really shine the beauty and uniqueness to the world that we all have you are a unique and beautiful person there is no one like you no one like you in the entire world use that overcome by being your authentic self use these new moon energies to your advantage not to be scared to look in but to really look into who you are so you can shine out to the world your complete uniqueness if you'd like a free oracle card reading please email me give me a like leave a comment down below how are you using these new moon energies i appreciate all of you thank you so much for watching the spirit of the cosmos happy new moon to you much more to come and i'll see you in the next video